least look like you're pleased to be back. Ooh, look at you. Go somewhere sunny over the holidays, did you? Yes, I did, as it happened. Do you have a black eye, sir? No. Mr Long got into a fight and got a black eye. I wasn't in a fight. <laughs> How come you're wearing sunglasses inside, then? Did you turn into a nong over the holidays? <laughs> you did turn into a nong over the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't anyone else do anything embarrassing over the holidays? Or was it just me? Actually, not just me. Just went for the short back and sides, did we, Kurt? I actually don't mind it. Ruth, you'd find it charming if you came to school with an arm missing. Really interesting hairdo. Did you have a good holiday? It's not about his hair anyway. Oh. I've always liked Kurt as a person. So did you see him over the break? No. Not once. I called him heaps. Oh. I went around there about four times, but um, oh, well, his dad kept saying he wasn't home. A couple of times I sat out the front and see if he'd come home, but um, oh, it got too dark. Which is in no way considered stalking. I wasn't stalking. I just wanted to hang out. Maybe he fell into one of those machines that polishes bowling balls, and now he's bald. I ever reckon he might have done it on purpose. Sophie, no one ever looks that weird on purpose. He Mr. Had... Long, I made a video over the holidays. Do you want to watch it or what? It's a short piece I did. Social commentary on student rights. It affects all of us, so pay attention. In the 1960s, all around the world, students fought for academic reforms. They fought against racism and they fought against war. And here today at Sunridge Park, no one fights for anything. Has anybody even noticed you don't have a student council? Does anybody even care? And if that wasn't enough, Sunridge Park Standards of Behaviour Code adds insult to apathetic injury. They're telling you what to say and what to think. Stand up to them. Say no more rules. Take control of your destiny. The time for change is now. Did you have to show so much violence? That was so on the money! That's exactly it. We do need change. I mean, uh, good film, man. It's certainly evocative. And angry. And intense. And good. Yeah, way to provoke, Kurt. I guess this is an issue of freedom of speech. Kurt had something to say and he just wanted to express himself. Did anyone not like Kurt's film? Oh, <laughs> What a film. It was so fantastic. And what about those students and how they spilt the blood? Great. <laughs> what stupid thing are you stupid doing? You stupid now, stupid. Do they teach you to speak like that in year 11? I teach myself how to speak, obviously. Why aren't you at soccer training? I've got stuff to do. You need to practice, man. Coach Gary said he might drop you if you don't improve. He won't drop me. What's a SRUC? It stands for Student Representative Council, all right? Huh? It's like a council that represents students' rights. Why do we put up with this weak act from the authorities? Have we ever stood up to them? No. Our student body has been forced by our oppressors to bow down to authority and never question their decisions. Well, no more! We shall overcome! <laughs> that worked. <laughs> if you'll just listen for a second. Mrs. Bartlett's asked me to put together a montage of highlights from last term's films. Which films have you got so far? 
Oh, I've got some snippets from your one minuteers. Oscar, your Wonder Twins Activate film. You can't show that in public. It's a good film. But we suck in it. Is it possible to get any more embarrassed than you've already been if I show it? Just make sure you pass royalties or something. Free your ballet thing. And Kurt's Granny Green video. No. Excuse me? I don't want you to show that one. My new film's better. It's more where I'm at now. Get him, now he's at somewhere. Well, that may be so, but I can't possibly include it in an open day montage. Why not? Because they're trying to recruit kids into the school, not scare them off. I want to show people a general overview of the direction the class is taking. If I put your anarchy film in, it's just going to completely overshadow everything else. So, it's a good film. After the thing with the word on the over last term, I just don't want you to cause any more trouble to the school. And speaking of socially aware epic films made over the holidays... Why are you looking at me? Have you created something along the lines of Kurt's piece or...? Yeah, uh, I got some great footage, actually. Um, it's kind of a celebration of a feeling. When I go surfing with my baby Well, I thought it was excellent. What the hell was that supposed to be? Politically aware? What was politically aware about that? It was just boobs and bums. No, 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 it's not. No, it's about... Because you always see, you know, certain <laughs> bodies in films, and it's about deconstructing the stereotypical female form. So what do you reckon? Well, at least you didn't spell SRC wrong. This is so brilliant. A rep council with me at the helm, fighting for the rights of my oppressed fellow students. I'm not oppressed. You don't think you're oppressed. Just wait till I'm finished with you. Actually, I don't think that came out right. I was under the impression that Kurt wanted us to go out and set fire to buildings and stuff, not start up student councils. You don't get it, Soph. I'm fighting the power from the inside. This SRC will be a highly trained political operation, fighting for justice, demolishing authority. Like Batman. No, Oscar, not like Batman. Come on, Anna, you're a good organiser. You'd be right into the SRC. I'm not eligible to enter. I'm head of forms. Of course, you've got far more important things to worry about than us mere mortals. Actually, being head of form means I specifically worry about you mere mortals. This is just the beginning. There'll be more posters. Each one more colourful than the last. really inspired me. I'm, I'm getting things moving now. I'm taking action. Actually, my film was more about property damage. A and this just hasn't come out of the blue either. And I've been working on something like this all holidays. Today at 
Sunridge Park. No one fights me. Does anybody even notice you don't have a student council? Damn things on the loop. Do you have any knowledge of this? I told him I didn't want to screen it at open day. I suppose this was his way of getting it shown. Haven't these kids ever heard of petitions? That's some sort of timing device, I think. Sophisticated, too. Oh. That thing was harder to program than my VCR at home. Actually, Kurt wouldn't know how to operate a digital watch. Your hookup worked perfectly, man. Everyone's freaking out. Including me. You said you would help. Listen. I'm not like you. If I get caught, I won't be able to handle it. I may well even cry. You won't get caught. <laughs> this could be my life on the line here, people. It's the all-new SRC. D don't you think it's time we were properly represented? I want to see you all there. We are going to fight for... The Alrighty then, uh, point eight is about meeting time, so if everyone can agree on maybe a Wednesday... What's going on? It's the SRC meeting. No, it's not. My SRC doesn't meet until Friday. Yeah, well, this is my SRC and it's meeting now. But... I made these. <laughs> yeah, well, when you were playing cut and paste, I got busy. And I managed to get some cool people to join as well. So can I join? <laughs> no way, bro. Forget it. But you can get the teas and coffees if you want. <laughs> it's the principal, Soph. I, I wanted to fire up the masses. What is Lasna had to fire up? You can't even eat briquettes in the barbie without smoking out the house. You're not allowed to join. So what? So it's time to roll over and die. <laughs> no way. If there's one thing Kurt's taught me, it's to fight. Um, <clears throat> I thought you said the one thing he taught you was to always get your hair cut at a registered barbershop. Kurt, any news? Yeah, I've been called to Bartlett's office. What? You should probably just chew me out of the video. No biggie. No biggie? Are you serious? Well, it's not a great start to the term for you, is it? I don't know. It's all right. You were nearly expelled last term. I mean, you're still paying the damages bill on the Oval. I thought you might have at least come back to school with a new attitude. Are you going to say anything? No. I was trying to prove a point. That's all. As you can see, we've covered a varied range of styles over the past term. There's so much any of us can do with a camera. I encourage the students to create whatever they want to create. Within reason, of course. <laughs> Filmmaking as a whole can bring out some incredibly varied talents. Some people excel with their creative side, others the technical aspects. It's even possible for them to modify equipment by using their own experimental devices. Rig up a computerized editing machine. Or even a timing device. All right, man, enough of the grilling. I did it, okay? I was Kurt's accomplice. Now just get off my back. <laughs> okay. Uh, of all people, Oscar, I am so surprised to see you here. Not as surprised as I am. You're one of our star pupils. I guess this is the effect that Kurt has on the other students here. Just sorry that you got caught up in it. Actually, I kind of wanted to help him. Really? Well, me and Kurt were just trying to prove a point. Hmm. Why don't you tell me what your point was? And I'll tell you if it was worth breaking about 18 of the school's rules. <laughs> we just think that... You know, we've got all this equipment lying around and all it's used for is announcements about upcoming sports meetings and lost property and stuff. Good morning, Sunridge Park High. Good morning, students. Hello, students. So, we reckon it could be used for more creative things. Oh. Screening Kurt's film was our way of proving a point. Yeah. If 
You agree, Miss Bartlett? Mrs. Mrs. Bartlett, then our whole class could contribute to an ongoing student-run station. It'd be like a work curriculum thing. And we wouldn't show any more anarchist films. Vote Ross for SRC! 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 Such a good idea. Why didn't you tell us you were planning a TV station? Oh, well, you know, I didn't want to spoil our plans. Oh, I'll direct. We could do tutorials and stuff. Oh, because that'd get people watching. I'll run some music videos. Great. Three hours of non-stop metal. We could just share responsibility for everything. Hmm? What about an anchor? It's not a boat, loser. I mean, like an anchor woman or man to link all the shows together and stuff. I vote for me. You would. How about Anna? No way. Yes way. You would be a perfect face for the station. I'd be terrified. Seriously, Hannah, you're probably the most eloquent out of us. Plus, teachers respect you. Which means we could get away with just about anything if you put your name to it. I still vote for me. <laughs> Come on, Anna. If you don't do it, we'll be stuck with Ruth. Hey! Oh. OK. Let's start drawing up a draft for the written proposal. Hey, I thought a student-controlled TV station would have your name all over it. Aren't you into it? I'm too busy right now. Busy planning the revolution. Sure. Okay, so I guess this is the meeting. It's super that you started a Rebel SRC. Your brother wouldn't let us join either. He said we were too freaky. <laughs> sure. Super. This is where you're working? I've got to pay back the cash somehow. <laughs> yeah, but this is a hairdresser's. So? So you don't have any hair. <laughs> it's a minimalist hairdresser. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Listen, um, I wanted to let you know that I handed in the written proposal to Mrs. Bartlett. <laughs> What'd she say? Well, nothing really. She didn't read it while I was there, but uh, she had a flick through it, a definite flick. This TV station thing could really happen. Wouldn't that be great? Sure. Kurt! Cancel my five o'clock appointment. Having a cerebral hemorrhage. All right, that's it. We might be a small and slightly pathetic team, but we're still a team. And we're a rebel team. This school needs an SRC. One with integrity, one with political vision, one that's going to take action. And it needs a group of strong, gutsy, forward-thinking people to lead it into the future. So what do you say, comrades? Viva la revolution! <laughs> Alrighty then, so point eight's about meeting time. So if everyone can agree on a maybe a Wednesday arvo. So um, now I'm the head of the SRC, but if anyone's got any suggestions to make up an agenda sort of thing, it would be good. And um... Well, I guess I wanted to come down and speak to you all directly about the written proposal. I have read it through. And I have to say that, well, as a media class, as a group, as individuals, you all have a lot to offer.
But I'm afraid I can't give the nod to a student-run television station. After seeing Kurt's film, I need to know that the station would be programmed responsibly, and until I'm 100% sure of that, well, I... I'm sorry. Cannot see too hard on the rules Break for a while, out of control But that's my style 